This is the first time in my life that I've ever wanted to walk out of a movie 15 minutes in. In fact, now that I know how bad movies can truly be, I really want to revisit all of the other movies that I thought was bad, quote unquote. Currently, this filming is sitting at 31% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I'm gonna just, look, I'm gonna jump the gun here and just say, this was a fucking waste of an idea. Yes. Oh, it's too early to curse? I'm sorry. This was a fucking waste of an idea. So Justice Smith is actually in this movie, which I actually kind of like him. I think he's dope. I don't. I can't stand him. Really? I didn't want to get into it. I was going to wait. <laughs> but the fact that you said you look, bro, I can't I'm not mad at him. He's shitty. He play, First of all, he plays the same exact character in every single movie. That awkward, kind of confused black guy, black, white guy who's like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't really know what's going on. I'm kind of sad. I don't get no pussy. Like, the same character. Damn, right? Yeah. Now you're seeing it, right? Same exact character. I can't tell the difference. Bro need to go back to playing side characters. Damn. Supporting roles and shit. Yeah. No, but matter of fact, it's good that they cast him in this. He needs to go back to supporting white characters. Cause this ain't be a lead character, ain't it, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn, bro, you going off on him, bro. He was good Yo, in Dungeons and Dragons. But that's what I'm saying. White, supporting the white character, like I said. Playing the magical Negro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Kalix Encounter. And if you've been here before, hello Kalix. So Justice Smith is in this movie, and he was also the wizard in Dungeons and Dragons. He's not selling art, so he quits, and a dude follows him in the dark and gives him magical powers. Justice Smith is assigned a white guy that he needs to make happy, and then he gets caught in a love triangle, and if he doesn't make them fall in love, he loses his powers, and he's forced to live in America as a black man. <laughs> yeah, it's such a cringy line. That's a weird line. And you know what pisses me off even more about this movie? They don't even use magic. All they do is teleport. There's no wands. And they use a, 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 a pocket watch. The as, pocket watch, as a phone. As a phone, as a FaceTime. And it's bad visual effects on top of that. This is the director's first time making a feature film. This is his directorial debut. Man, what a fucking waste. Let me tell you how this guy's never gonna get another job in Hollywood ever again. Actually, <laughs> Take it easy on them. <laughs> this film premiered at one of the most prestigious film festivals that you can go to, in the United States at least, Sundance Film Festival. I'd love for us to go to Sundance one day. That, that should be fire. But not only did it premiere at Sundance, it was also developed by Sundance, the screenwriting and director's lab. So that means they sat down and helped them develop this script so that it could get to the big screen. That's what I'm trying to understand. What did the people at Sundance see? We have the festival senior programmer, John. Good morning, John. Thanks for joining us. There are definitely some films that people are gonna be talking about. Um, I think a film that comes to mind is a film called American Society of Magical Negroes, which is a brilliant satire. He made a movie about himself, bro. Look at the picture of the actor, and then look at the picture of the writer and director. Bro literally made a, a movie about himself. <laughs> Currently on IMDb, the film is sitting at a 3.5 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's sitting at 31%. But the audience score gave it a 61. But. You think so? Yeah. You don't think they're real people? Nah, pay for it. The term magical Negro was coined by the great Spike Lee. Okay. He basically started saying like, yeah, he's tired of the whole magical Negro trope in Hollywood. The legend of Bagger Vance, some golf movie. Will Smith, fuck racism. I want to teach this white man how to swing golf. <laughs> like, <laughs> Key and Peele already made fun of the whole magical Negro situation years ago. Mm -hmm. The whole, I, I think it was called Duel of the Magic Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> like they did the idea already Yes, yes, yes. They did the idea already and they actually made it funny. He's stealing ideas and they're making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> this movie drops, it's gonna be hard for us to get more satire yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, lo I love satire movies. Mm -hmm. I grew up with stuff like Blazing Saddles. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, Blazing Saddles is it. <laughs> I've never seen Blazing Saddles. Bro. Where the white women at? <laughs> oh, God, that's where you got the quote from? Hey, where are the white women at? Our comrades on this channel, you know, we don't do that dumb shit here. We don't do that, oh, it's woke this. And, no, no, we don't do that here on this channel. We, we don't do that here. How Saying it's bad because of those elements is where it's Yeah, wrong. that's disingenuous. But let me be clear about this one. It wasn't crafted properly. Mm -hmm. Yo, fuck all that uh, a lot of people talking about, oh, this is a racist movie and da 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 da. It's just shitty writing. It's just bad writing. It's just Literally, shitty writing. If it's funny, it's funny. If it resonates, the point of comedy is to point, a hold up a mirror at us and make us laugh at ourselves, really. And this movie does such a bad job. It is so heavy handed. 
feels like a lecture. It felt like a training video for a job that I just had to take because this was like my last option. It's, it's the fact that they they market the movie as a sort of satirical drama. And it's not that. It is not funny at all. Like if you're gonna be satirical, like you have to be like, you have to be really smart. In this movie, they spell every single thing out. It's, they, they think they're the audience your hand, is stupid. With you, yeah. That's the worst way to make a movie. The audience is not stupid. This could have been, yo, this could have been a really good satire, bro. Even the drama for this film doesn't work. Because usually when you have a drama, the idea is to get the person to fall in love with you or to at least get them to like you. The problem with this movie is that Shorty was filling him throughout the whole movie. It's him being stupid. It just feels dragged out. It's, I hate this movie, bro. I hate this movie, bro. I specifically hate this movie and wanted to walk out of this movie because of what it reinforces for black people. The idea that white people are the most dangerous animal on the planet when they're angry and da 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 da. It's not just be, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, that's racist, you're not supposed to say that. Da, 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 da. It's not that. What does that say about black people? Like, no, like really peel that layer back. I don't like that this movie made us seem like chumps. Like those little stupid ass lines, like you're forced to live in the world as a black man in America. I genuinely hated this movie with a passion. <laughs> Obviously, I come on here at times like, yo, I didn't like this movie. No, I I genuinely had disgust while watching this movie. Like, I wanted to, I, I agree with him, I also wanted to leave 15 minutes in. I still ended up walking out, but it was later towards the third act. I, I oh, the third act! I, I genuinely could not take it anymore. I left once it once it started to turn into a Barbie situation. Oh <laughs> my gosh. But I'm about to give you all a quick list of recommendation. Alternatives. Get out. They clone Tyrone. Sorry to bother you. Oh yes. Yeah, Does a really good job with basically what this movie's trying to do. And I'm gonna say it, the blackening. The reason why this movie hurts so much is because it's a waste of a premise. And I, and I want to see more black people in sci-fis. My and, nigga, and I've been fantasy, saying bro. this since we started filming. Yeah, yeah. I want black wizards. Yeah. and then This we is this. not what I wanted. <laughs> you both took the complete opposite of yeah. what I wanted. I wanted black Harry Potter, not fucking magic roots. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> nah, but that's real. Bro ruined black wizards, bro. You know how hard it is going to be to get a black <laughs> wizard movie now? <laughs> But look, I'm gonna say this, bro. And you, you might disagree with me on this. Brother, I wish you well, bro. I, I hope you do get another movie. I hope you never get another <laughs> job in Hollywood ever again. Nah, I don't I hope they start looking. I hope they start looking for black people who actually wanna do some work. We'll see you in the next encounter. Peace.